Hey friends, welcome back to Wama Wama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. Thank you for stopping by today. And here I am in all my toothless glory. <laughs> I just decided to go ahead and make videos because y'all have seen me at my worst before. Um, so it's really, you know, it's just me. Um, who I am. I'm not ever trying to pretend to be somebody I'm not. And this is my reality right now, okay? This is my life. And so I decided to just make videos. <laughs> now that some things have changed for me. But before that, I want to say welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you all being here. Um, you did see some clips where I went to see the Barbie movie. Me and Barbie. This is my Barbie doll from the movie. Um, her hair needs brushing. <laughs> but anyway, this is my Barbie from the movie. And this is Ken from the movie. So me, Barbie, and Ken and my oldest son, Dakota, went and saw the Barbie movie. And so you did see a few little clips from that and a few photos. <laughs> Anyway, um, we went and saw that and enjoyed it very much. Actually, it was my second time to see the movie. I did see it once before. I took my little neighbor friends, Zeke and his sister Evie. I took them to go see it and when it first came out. So, that was my second time to see it. And I enjoyed it very much. Um, anyway, guys. So, what has been going on with me? <laughs> Okay, so you know, I had my teeth extracted for the dentures, and then um, keep in mind, I have a ton of health issues going on that normal people don't deal with, and so my gums swelled up huge. My face swelled really, really huge. It was horrible, horrible. And so I had went back um, after you have the denture, the extractions, you get dentures put in right then and you keep them in overnight. You go the next day for them to check them and kind of do a little fitting type thing. Um, I went back and did that. And then, um, then when it was, let's see. The following Monday, whenever that was, my days are just <laughs> between pain, pain meds, and just feeling horrible. I don't even know what today is, okay? Um, then I went back. I was just, my gums were just swollen so huge, and it was just so painful that all I could do was just sit there and squall. And so I went back, I called them, and made an appointment, and went in. It was a Monday, I think, not not last Monday. So they looked at them and did some stuff, and then they said, "Take take the dentures out. Don't try to put them back in, and come back Wednesday the night. That'll give your gums time to heal, and all that kind of stuff." So, okay. Um, but it has been so painful. Oh my gosh, just the pain. It's been really bad. And so right now, my gums, the swelling has went down. They are healing, but I do have some places that are excruciating. Um, and it's just kind of been bad. It really has. <laughs> I'm going to try to show you something just because I'm keeping it real. And I don't know if you'll be able to see or not, but up here, I have a tooth coming out. And the problem is, it's not only just coming out, it's coming forward, too. So that particular tooth is very, very painful, and it's got a big bulge there. But it's also cutting up the inside of my lip up here. I'm going to try to show you that to see. I think you can see that white. That is a tooth coming out. And it is very, very painful. Down here, my eyes are so blurry. I can't see. 
down here I have the same thing. I have a tooth that's coming out. It's coming forward and out. And so it's really painful. Over here I have a really sore spot um, up in the top of my gums there. There's a really, really sore spot. And down here where like gum stuff was done. Um, that the gum area is very very tender right there so I have those four spots that are you know really painful this one and this one being the worst um, I was hoping now that the swelling has went down that you know it would all even out but I, th I think they're going to take those two pieces out normally those can work their way out um, and just come out and be fine but um, it is taking a long time to do that and it's very painful <laughs> very very painful y'all oh. I've been living on chicken broth cream of chicken soup and sonic slushies that's what I've been living on because I mean I can't eat anything with any kind of substance or anything just liquid so chicken broth and chicken cream of chicken soup right now i'm drinking some cold sweet tea the sonic slushies they just um help <laughs> with my teeth also i mean not my teeth my gums also just you know kind of freezing them <laughs> and then i'll eat some hot soup <laughs> But it has been pretty rough. It has. I never, never expected all this to be this rough. No. I've had fingers cut off that did not hurt this bad. Okay? Um, yeah. That did not hurt this bad. <laughs> so, so painful. And then just, you know my face swelled up I know I said that but my face especially the left side for some reason swelled up really really huge and I, I was a mess okay <laughs> I've been a mess I still am a mess like I'm still in pain but it's not the excruciating oh my god I can't stand this pain um, I am still taking some pain medication especially to be able to sleep at night because um, it just hurts. It hurts, honestly. Okay, I don't know. I just found a cord and was wondering what it plugged to. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's what's going on with me, and that's what I'm trying to deal with. And, um, you know, I just haven't been, I just have not felt like sitting here doing a video honestly because I just felt so bad and I appreciate you guys so much understanding that but I want to make videos so I'm, tr I'm gonna try you know now that the pain is a little better and the swelling has went down and I'm not just um, crying <laughs> now that I'm not just uncontrollably crying <laughs> I can sit here and visit with you guys some. Like I said, getting your finger cut off does not hurt as bad as all this has hurt. Um, today is Monday. I go back Wednesday for them to look at my gums and try to refit the dentures in. But honestly, um, they're going to have to do something about this and this. I know there's nothing they can do about that, and that has got to heal on its own. But this tooth and that tooth, it's got to go. It's got to go. So, essentially, if they take those two pieces out, I mean, it's a big, big piece. The top and the bottom, it's really big pieces. So, I guess for uh, Wednesday, if they do take those two pieces out, I guess we'll kind of be starting over. But hopefully, since it's only two places... That it won't be as painful and won't swell up as bad and you know hopefully it won't be like starting over <laughs> hopefully not but um yeah it's, something's got to happen 
my son, I showed my son yesterday, and he's like, so are you basically teething like a baby? I was like, if it was only that simple. <laughs> oh, because that tooth up here is cutting the inside of my lip up. That is adding more pain. Like the inside of my lip up here. So anyway, guys, yes, this is me. This is what I'm dealing with. This is my life. Um, can't make this mess up. And why would you want to? <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. So, I'm finally feeling like crocheting again. Like, I've just been so sick feeling and so horrible feeling that I really have just have not felt like crocheting. Like, I wanted to do something, like, I want to be creative and do something, but yet, I just have not felt like crocheting. Like, just the, you know, the movement of your arms and stuff, I've just been too wore out and fatigued to even do that. So, I did take a few um, photos in my doll room and um, posted those on Instagram and... I'm going to continue doing that, but now I do feel like crocheting some. So, I am crocheting on a granny square. I, I have I have um, an idea. I have some, some things I want to do. Basically, it is some granny square crossover bags. I want to do up um, a little lit stack of those. And so, that is what I am doing right here um just crocheting a granny square and i'm do i'm using my six millimeter hook to make this a little bit larger and also i'm going to um make this eight rounds so that's what i'm doing yeah so that's it um I hope you guys are all having a great day. I hope you had a great weekend. Tell me what you had going on over the weekend. I've missed all that, you know, like what you're doing for the weekend and stuff. So, what did you do for the weekend and what do you have planned for this week? My main thing, I, well, for the weekend, what did I do this weekend? Um, my son Dakota and I went to um, the mall and saw the Barbie movie. Like I said, it was my second time to see it, but um, I enjoyed it very much. And this time, Barbie and Ken went with me. Well, they did go before. Um, I'll just tell you a little secret. <laughs> they did go before, but I, that particular day, I didn't, I didn't feel so hot. And so I didn't do any photos or anything. But um, anytime I leave the house, no matter where I'm going, what I'm doing, I do have a Barbie doll or two in my purse. I always have dolls in my purse. It, sometimes I grab even a bigger doll and take with me just in case I see a photo opportunity. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I take photos and I never post them. <laughs> sometimes I take photos and I post them. So, who knows? You never know what I'm going to do. But, um... They ride around in my purse. Like, that's where they live, those two. And I just take them wherever. Um, what else did I do over the weekend? Oh, Big Daddy did take me to Piccadilly. Um, he said, do you think you could eat some carrot souffle? And I was like, yeah, because that's basically like mashed potatoes, except it's carrots. And I love their carrot souffle. So we did go on Saturday evening. Um, I think he just wanted to get out of the house. And so he came up with this idea that we would go to Walmart to get a fan because we needed another fan. It's been so crazy hot here that it's taken all our, our air conditioners all they can do to try to keep up with this triple digit heat. Um, like, you know, without heat index, we've been having like 104 temps and it's just been really hot. So 
he decided we needed to put a fan into the den blowing some of the cold air in the den into our bedroom because it was just it was a little too warm in there at night and so he wanted to go get a fan for the bathroom and a fan for our bedroom so that's what we did and we went by Piccadilly and um, I was able to eat some carrot souffle I did get an extra one to bring home to eat one day this week probably what I'll have for dinner tonight <laughs> um, as a carrot souffle I can eat mashed potatoes um, so I have had the problem is I don't like Big Daddy's mashed potatoes <laughs> I don't like his mashed potatoes, and so it's not something I, you know, request, or he'll say, you want mashed potatoes? And I'll be like, no. He knows I don't like his mashed potatoes. He don't like them either. Um, and this is even instant mashed potatoes that should be smooth. Somehow or another, he manages to make them lumpy. One day, we were in the kitchen, and... Um, something was said, I don't know, I said, not, not, don't give me too many, he was fixing my bowl of mashed potatoes, and I said, don't, don't give me too many, and he said, what are you saying about my mashed potatoes, and I was like, nothing, <laughs> and then, um, I forgot what he fixed himself, and I said, eat mashed potatoes with it, and he said, I ain't eating them lumpy things, <laughs> he was just picking though, but, um, I don't know how he manages to make them lumpy, but he does. He don't make them up good or something. I don't know. But anyway, so I haven't been eating mashed potatoes at home because I don't like his mashed potatoes. But I did get some carrot souffle, which is basically mashed potatoes, but it's made with carrots. And it tastes really good. <laughs> um, and like I said, I did get... Uh, extra serving to bring home and I'll probably have that like late tonight or something um, I even thought about this I, for me to have something to eat you know like he's at work and I'm just here hungry <laughs> because let me just tell you chicken broth which is basically just eating some hot water <laughs> it does not stay with you very long at all right <laughs> It does not. In just a little bit, you're hungry again. And especially when you're on prednisone, you're, like, hungry again. And so I thought about going to, like, KFC and getting me a couple little mashed potatoes, um, Piccadilly and getting me some chicken, not chicken, um, carrot souffle, and just, you know, that's probably like the only things I can eat from town. But if I could get, you know, some of those just to have to put in the refrigerator that I could heat up, you know, later whenever I'm hungry, you know, or something. Um, I'm kind of considering doing that. I haven't mentioned that to Big Daddy. He'll probably think, what? <laughs> but um, anyway, who knows? Um So that's what we did Saturday evening, and then Sunday I went to the movies. Today is Monday. I'm not doing anything today except crocheting and visiting with you guys. I don't have any plans. I don't want to do anything else. Um, I'm finally just starting to feel like I can do something, and I don't want to, like, waste all my energy, right? So, um... Tuesday, I don't have any plans. Wednesday, I go to the dentist. So, I'm anxious to see what we are going to do about my mouth. Oh, it's, it's been bad. It's been so bad. I'm ready for this to be over with and behind me. And I know it will pass. I know this will get better. But it sure has been a pain in the rear <laughs> waiting on that to happen. Oh. And then, I don't know. I don't know what else I got going on the rest of the week. 
and that's just for outside activities. I do have some um, crochet projects that I'm going to be getting back to, and yeah, I can't wait to share some projects that I'm pulling out and going to crochet on. And that's about it for me, really. Um, like I said, I just, I haven't been crocheting because I just have not felt like it, y'all. I know this is just a short little period and this time will pass. And I'm just ready for it to happen, though, okay? <laughs> I'm ready for it to happen. But anyway, guys, um... This is what I'm going to do today. I am using my wool genie. I think this is going to be a really pretty crossover bag. Um, I can't, um, you know, my plan is to make up a little supply of these and then we'll see what happens from there. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, I'm just going to go chill at my desk. Um, it, it is pretty warm here. Like I said, we've had um, 104 degree weather, and that is not with the heat index. That is the temp. I don't even know what it's been with the heat index. Hot, hot, hot. H, H, hot. That's all I know. <laughs> um, it has been hot, hot. Oh, and so... Um, I plan to stay inside, stay cool, might go in my doll room and do a little bit of cleaning, rearranging, as I feel like it. Mostly I just sit and look. <laughs> Mostly I just sit and look at my dolls. But anyway, yeah, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all again in the next video. Remember, it is a beautiful day to crochet. Love you guys, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye, friends.